All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at this IXL that's assigned. Um, this is A6 from Geometry. Uh, do remember to sign in to IXL. If you've signed in correctly, you should have a sign-in name here. It should say welcome and then your name. Um, so if you haven't signed in, all the work you do will not get sent to me and you'll get cut off at 10 questions. If you do some work and then sign in, a lot of times it'll cancel your work and you have to start all over. So first thing, make sure you're signed in. Um, your password should be your lunch code, your username should be your email, and then it's at Lynchburg City. If you have issues signing in, uh, feel free to contact me via email. So let's go ahead and take a look at your IXL here and let's just do a little bit of practice. Um, Again, this is just algebra review. It should be very simple. It, it shouldn't be hard in to, to do this and to do it well. Uh, you should get to about 80 on this IXL in order to get full credit for your work for the day. But again, a lot of this is, can we sign into IXL? Are the scores coming through? Does it look good on my end? Um, so, and get some of these things dealt with before next week starts. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. We're gonna solve some equations, solving some linear equations. So let's take a look at this first example. I've got 18 equals eight plus two J, and we wanna solve for J. So um, we're gonna put 18 here is equal to eight, plus 2j. And so the first thing we want to do is we want to um, get all the constants on one side. So we're going to subtract 8 on both sides. And if this is um, pretty obvious and really easy, that's probably a good sign that you're in the right place for this class. Um, and if you don't remember, it's okay. We, it's been a while since, we, uh, since we've done some math. So we're gonna divide two on both sides and we end up with five is equal to J. Now remember, as we go across the equal sign, we're doing our opposite sign. We're kind of peeling layers. We're going in reverse PEMDAS order. We're doing our addition, subtraction, pulling that layer off, doing multiplication, division, peeling that layer off. Um, and we're kind of like peeling this back, trying to get back to our, to our uh, variable. And here we end up with um, we end up with five as an answer, and let's double check that. Looks great. Remember, you can always, at the beginning, there's a little thing that says show example if you don't remember how to do an IXL. Uh, let's go ahead and, and try a little bit of a harder one here, because um, hopefully we remember how to do some of this stuff. That one's pretty easy. Let's try, um, that's pretty easy too. Let's see, okay, so we're in the challenge zone here. This is probably further than you need to go. Um, yes, but let's take a look at this one in case you wanna go ahead and get yourself to 100. Again, this should be an easy IXL, um, get to 80. Um, but if you wanna to get to 100, sure, go ahead and knock yourself out. Uh, next week, we'll start making the, the challenges a little more um, difficult, a little harder numbers to get to. But, but for today, let's just keep it easy. Um, so here I've got 6x plus x minus 3x. So the very first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and combine these guys. So I've got 6x plus one more x than minus 3x. That's gonna leave me with 4x is equal to 20. And then I'm gonna go ahead and divide four on both sides. And so I end up with x is equal to five. And again, once again, that, that should not be a difficult problem. You should be able to knock this IXL out in, I don't know, five, six minutes. All right, um, notice here there's a distribution problem that you've got to deal with. So in this case, if you wanted to run into some sort of distribution, remember we do need this negative four to multiply by both terms. So this would be negative four K and then negative times a negative would be positive. And that's gonna come out to 76 is equal to zero. And then once again, we'd solve that for K. But I trust that you guys can do that. Once again, if you need to, shoot me an email. Uh, this should be an easy thing. You've done IXL a lot in the past. Um, so again, we wanna make sure you can get logged in. We wanna kinda get those issues out of the way, but this should be an easy activity, uh, an easy thing to get off your checklist.